بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله All perfect praise is due to Allah the Almighty I testify that none is worthy of worship except Allah and I testify that Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم is his final prophet and messenger In the last session, we stopped at verse 10. And we will resume with verse 11. Another sign that Allah Azza wa Jal addressed the deniers with was the sign of daytime. Allah Azza wa Jal says in verse 11 what means, and made the day for livelihood. People need to earn their livelihood. And Allah Azza wa Jal made, as in the, in the previous two verses, made the night with darkness, with no light, so, the, so that people can rest. And then have the energy to resume their daily lives and earn their livelihood during the day. Now, these two signs, the day and the night. The alternation of the day and night are signs that Allah Azza wa Jal challenge humanity with. Allah Azza wa Jal created them in such a precise system and manner and He challenged mankind with these two signs. Allah says in verses 71 to 73 of chapter Al-Qasas, challenging mankind and particularly at the time of the message, of the message, the deniers of the message. Allah says, قُلْ أَرَأَيْتُمْ إِنْ جَعَلَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكُمُ اللَّيْلَ سَرْمَدًا إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ مَنْ إِلَاهٌ غَيْرُ اللَّهِ يَأْتِيكُمْ بِضِيَاءٌ أَفَلَا تَسْمَعُونَ قُلْ أَرَأَيْتُمْ إِنْ جَعَلَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكُمْ نهار سرمدا سرمدا إلى يوم القيامة من إله غير الله من إله غير الله يأتيكم بليل تسكنون فيه أفلا تبصرون وَمِنْ رَحْمَتِهِ جَعَلَ لَكُمُ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ لِتَسْكُنُوا فِيهِ لِتَسْكُنُوا فِيهِ وَلِتَبْتَغُوا مِنْ فَضْلِهِ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ Listen up brothers and sisters. Listen to the meaning of these verses. Listen to the challenge Allah Azza wa Jal sets in these verses. Allah says what means, say, meaning, O Muhammad, say to people, to the non-believers, say, have you considered, meaning, if inform me if you really know, if Allah should make for you the night continuous until the day of resurrection. What deity other than Allah could bring you light? Then will you not hear? Say, have you considered if Allah should make for you the day continuous until the day of resurrection? What deity 
other than Allah could bring you a night in which you may rest, then will you not see? And out of his mercy, he made for you the night and the day that you may rest therein and by day seek from his bounty and that perhaps you will be grateful. These two signs, the signs of day and night. Allah Azza wa Jal in these verses challenged all creation. If anyone can change anything in the system that He subhanahu wa ta'ala created, the system of day and night, even if it was a second, or a split of a second. This challenge was meant to prove the perfect creation of Allah Azza wa Jal. The precise manner and fashion He created things. His ability of creation and the need of mankind, the incapability of mankind, the weakness of mankind. And thus, they are unable to challenge Allah Azza wa Jalla. And thus, there is only one who has created this universe, Allah Azza wa Jalla. And the natural result that is concluded from this is that Allah Azza wa Jalla is fully and perfectly and completely capable of Resurrecting the dead. This resurrection that you are denying. Allah continues. Giving them another cosmic sign. Now he moves up to the heavens. He says in the 12th verse what means. And constructed above you seven strong heavens. Before I talk about or bring the comments of the scholars on this particular verse, I would like to read a narration from Ibn Mas'ud that is reported by Imam Al-Bayhaqi. It's a sound narration. narration. Ibn Mas'ud said, now consider this as I'm saying. He said, the distance between every heaven and the one following to it is a journey that is 500 years long. And the thickness of every heaven is a journey of five hundred years. These seven heavens, the distances between them and the thickness of each of these heavens make you freeze, make you pause and think of the greatness and power and might of Allah Azza wa Jal. It puzzles you. How can people deny seeing such great creation? How can people reject? How can Muslims disobey? How can a believer sin? Seeing this and knowing this. Now consider this, brothers and sisters. I'm not going to say consider the size of earth. I'm going to say consider the size of me and you. What do we constitute in the creation of Allah? In this universe? And yet some of us sin. And yet some of us disobey. And another aspect to this is, 
Allah Azza wa Jal has subjected all this for the service of mankind. Don't you see that the function of the universe, the alternation of day and night, was for our benefit? For our benefit? So that we rest. As he concluded, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that perhaps you'll be grateful. You remember, you reflect, you ponder upon the favors and bounties of Allah, the abundant bounties He has bestowed upon you. Perhaps that we may be grateful. Whenever one of us attempts to do something wrong, he should remember this. He should re remember what he constitutes compared to this humongous universe. And remember that the one, subhanahu wa ta'ala, who has created this, is capable of causing you to be destroyed, of ruining you, of punishing you. We should, we should remember we should always remember that death does not take permission. Death comes suddenly. Death is not going to be delayed. And that death is a gate through which all of us must go. So remind yourselves, let us always remind ourselves with the greatness of the creation of the heavens and the earth, day and night, earth and mountains. And remember what we are, perhaps that we may be grateful and perhaps that we may maintain ourselves upon the right path of Allah. And with this, we conclude this session. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to benefit us all from what we said and heard and enable us to act upon what we heard. Allahumma ameen wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب